this is a, a really good example of luxury sustainability and mm -hmm. also doing things very innovative, um, which is one of the reasons why we wanted to align so closely with Tesla, um, because there aren't many companies in the world that you can say are even as close to as right. innovative as Tesla is. So if you're going to kind of ride shotgun with, with somebody as they're developing products and iterating into a market, there's nobody better. Well, for today, I'm out at a very interesting uh, installation here at this house. This is in Austin, Texas, about uh, maybe 20 miles to the west of Giga, Texas. And uh, I know this is a little bit different than what you see uh, routinely from me, but I wanted to come out and do another uh, coverage of a Tesla solar roof. But this one is definitely very different. And I'm going to look around at the house. I'll show you various parts of the installation. Uh, but it is very interesting and uh, it includes the first use of solar panels, the roof solar tiles on the walls. And the reason why that was done is somewhat aesthetically, but also it extends that size of the roof and allows the house to generate more electricity than what the roof square footage allows by itself. Now, this is also a house with a lot of power walls. We're gonna be seeing that installation, but there are 12 of them, and that is a significant amount of backup power. Uh, I think this house is gonna be set for quite some time in the case that uh, we have power outage around the area. I'm here with Carson, he's the uh, owner, CEO of Victa Energy, and he's the uh, company or the owner of the company that put on this uh, amazing roof and also some other details. So the last time we talked, we were down actually at San Antonio. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit different of a, a roof installation, but you've been doing a lot around uh, not only Austin and Texas, but all over the place. Can you talk a little bit about what you and your company has been doing in the last year since I last uh, we last uh, saw that uh, roof? Yeah, certainly. So. I think the easiest way to sum it up is doing elite roofing and sustainable luxury. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a, a really good example of luxury sustainability and mm -hmm. also doing things very innovative, um, which is one of the reasons why we wanted to align so closely with Tesla, um, because there aren't many companies in the world that you can say are even as close to as right. innovative as Tesla is. So if you're going to kind of ride shotgun with, with somebody as they're developing products and iterating into a market, there's nobody better. But one of the things that you were kind of highlighting is sort of the modular approach that they have with the roof materials. And for this installation, you did something different. So you can talk about what did you do different and how did the modularity of the solar roof and all of the various parts work for this uh, new approach? Yeah, yeah, great point. Um, so the, the modularity of it certainly helped. Um, the other advantage that we have is we have a lot of folks that have been doing this for a long time. Um, with Tesla, so we have guys that have been doing this for four to eight years. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, we we're able to look at, okay, you know, when Bill, when Ohad came to us and said, hey, you know, I'd, I'd love for this to be on a, on a vertical application, can you make it happen? Mm -hmm. um, so we had had some folks, Kirk put together a wall in the warehouse, we start ideating on it and seeing how we can make it happen. And this is the first time you've done that, right? First time, first okay. time ever. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Um, so, so really the, the challenge of it was, you know, how are we going to support the, the weight? Um, we know the product's wildly durable, wildly mm -hmm. waterproof. Uh, those are no, no issues at all. Um, really it was kind of, okay, how are we going to support the, the vertical weight and the way that the, the new version of the solar roof is designed to sit on the wall um, actually will support weight very well. And then the other element of it was how are we going to make this look very sleek? Because mm -hmm. um, as you can see, this home is very modern, right. um, very tech forward. Uh, so we needed, we needed to make all of our transitions very sleek going into, say, a window or going around a corner. Um, so all that was really just some custom fab fabrication that we did in, in the shop and brought out here. And again, we have some, we're fortunate to have some very talented folks mm -hmm. that could fabricate that stuff. So we drew it up on a whiteboard and won't get into the specifics of the design there, but drew it up and the guys made it happen and, and made it look great. Did you work with them and did they collect data that they're going to maybe use for future Tesla installations? Um, we did. We did work with them. There's an okay. on, ongoing discussion, you know, because we're, we're pushing the limits of, right. of the product and a new application of it. And um, that's something Ohad also likes to do. The, yeah. the builder of the home likes to push the applications and okay. push, 
push you know what's possible um, from an innovation standpoint and product utilization so um, we did have some um, back and forth conversation but essentially you know as long as we met the minimum pitch mm -hmm. there wasn't wasn't a maximum pitch uh, that we could use it for so as long as we could secure it and um, make sure that we would get enough sunlight on there to produce the voltage we need mm -hmm. then should be really good to go. Okay, well, Tesla is very, uh, you know, known for their iterative approach and and also kind of like uh, collecting data and seeing how things work over time. Are they monitoring this installation? Are they going to be watching to see how this, uh, the durability of the, uh, the the solar panels on the walls, or, or is there going to be a connection with Tesla moving forward? Okay. They definitely have access to the data okay. um, that'll come from this this installation. Um, we'll also have access to the performance data, so we'll be able to monitor it and look over time. Okay and super excited to see what happens in the market with it. So we'll be doing it on multiple more installations. Um, already have a few lined up to do it. So mm -hmm. we'll, we'll keep doing it as long as it's productive and, and helping the homeowner and contributing power to, say in this situation, um, just contributing some, some energy to the batteries in a backup situation and contributing energy during the, say, middle of the day and mm -hmm. afternoons, really. Yeah, so is there a difference in pricing when you're installing it on the roof versus on the walls, or how did that work out? Yeah, um, well, this is obviously the first time it's ever been done, yeah. so it was kind of an, an iterative approach. Um, the short answer is it would end up being a little bit more labor time, okay. um, just because it takes a lot of care um, in the installation. So um, we mentioned a lot of custom fabrication, so a lot of this, you know, is not a, a standard product that you mm. pull out of the pull out of the box and just can install the same way you've done it a hundred times. So it's, it's a lot of custom metal work around the windows, mm -hmm. the corners, um, where you meet the first story roofing. So it does end up uh, bringing in a lot of custom metal work to it. Okay. So it would, it would be slightly more just on the, on the time that it takes. All right, you hey, well, me. thank you very much. I uh, uh, appreciate that. We're gonna talk to some more of your employees and take a look around the, uh, the facility and the house and just see how it all looks. But this is a very unique uh, installation. I appreciate you having me out here to take a look at this. Yeah, absolutely. Right, Always so pleasure, Thank Joe. you very much, yeah, appreciate thank it. You. Now I've come over to the side of the house where they have the solar roof shingles now on the wall. And this is what it looks like from a ground level. And you can see how it works well with the trim, the colors and the overall design of this house. All right, so I'm here with Kirk and we're looking at their new installation of the Tesla solar roof. So why, what did you have to do uh, to adapt them? Because I know that the solar roofs, they have, uh, you have the glass panels that have the photovoltaic cells in them. Yes, sir. Then you have matching ones that are kind of blanks. Yes, sir. And then you also have kind of like trim pieces yes, sir. that would make the whole roof, but yes, you sir. had to modify that for the wall. So go through that process. Okay. Um, just that scenario was we, we took riser. Obviously, it's a lot different than a roof. Um, I would say the first layer was a headache because you're in a sense of everything's laid this way. So all the metalwork you're doing is kind of on the ground versus okay. it being on the wall. I took all of that, done that. I took a chalk line straight across. Okay. And then after that, I installed all the V3R that you're seeing, which is the newer version. And then, like I said, my boss wanted partials in the corners. So with that, I had to use V3 uh, panels. Okay, so you did the panels and then you made your own flashing kind of like for the edge pieces yes, and sir. you kind of manufactured that or fabricated it yourself. What about the underlayment? Because I know with the roof, you have an underlayment panel uh, uh, material yes, to sir. help it uh, from leaking and also having a good base. Did you yes, have sir. to use that on the walls or did you use something else? I used it on the walls. Okay, and is it the same Tesla material? Yes, sir. Okay, so basically, with the addition of making your own trim flashing pieces for the edges, you essentially just use the same material, same thing as on the wall, and it worked out pretty well. Yes, sir. If it's not filling on the roof, why would I not put it on the wall? Okay. Well, I think that's pretty awesome, and it's another option that uh, maybe you can think about if you're going to be putting on a solar roof. You might consider maybe the walls and kind of extend that uh, size of your roof by using the vertical as well. So yes, that's very cool, Kirk, and I appreciate you at least yes, showing this uh, installation and uh, just talking a little bit about how you modified the existing solar roof materials for the walls. So yes, thanks. sir. Yes, sir. All right, cool. All right. One more view of the house and how those solar panels on the walls look and how it blends in with this particular architectural style and the motif that the builder was looking for. I think it looks just like a regular wall for most people would think that anyway and they wouldn't realize that this is something that's generating solar electricity in addition to making the look of the house. Now what we heard is that these solar panels are installed on the south and west side of the house 
That's to maximize the uh, sun angles uh, throughout the year and to give the best chance of producing electrical power on these walls in addition to what we see on the roof. So I've come over here where they have the 12 power walls installed. You can see they have kind of like a rack bout here along the ground. They decided that that would be the best installation for this particular house. You can also see behind me that there are three gateways and that is what uh, helps uh, direct the energy from and to the power walls. And of course this entire thing is what they call a grid tied system. And that is a system that is connected to the electrical grid. Uh, it also allows that grid to power the batteries. Uh, and it also allows the solar panels on the roof to power the batteries. And then the flow of electricity can go either to the house, out to the grid, from the grid back in. It's a very flexible system and it allows it to prepare for uh, some storms, other emergencies, make sure that this house has got all the power that it needs and uh, also can sustain itself for quite some time with this size of the battery packs. And uh, as we kind of look around here with the uh, video clips that I'm showing you, you can get a good sense of how they install all of this. Now, this is a 600 amp system. That is significantly more than what normal houses would have, but uh, the particular use for this particular this house and uh, this owner uh, is to try to make sure that they have power that can uh, basically do everything in the house from the pool, the air conditioner, all of the lights and everything else. So this is quite an extensive installation, uh, but this is what it looks like here at uh, this uh, uh, particular house and how it all ties in with the solar roof and also those solar panels that are on the walls, which is kind of unique. All right, so I'm here with Christian, and he is a electrician here for yes. Victa, and you've been working on this uh, installation, which is pretty cool, right? Yeah. Yeah, so what do you think about this? I think it's awesome. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, the reason why I wanted to talk to you is not just because of your electrician skills, which I think is pretty important, but you actually said that you remember seeing me flying my drones over Giga Texas. Yes. I so worked, tell uh, me a little bit about that. Yeah, so I was at um, the Giga Texas for two years. I was a self-performer. We did the commercial side of the billboard of the Tesla panels. I think okay. it was 35 megawatts, I think, Okay. give or take. And um, yeah, I would see it every day and all the time. The would see it, um, a bunch of the guys would always wave at it or yeah. goof around. So yeah, it was, it was good to see the development of the Giga Factory and seeing all the panels getting um, laid down. So yeah. yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, so what do you think about uh, Tesla allowing me to fly drones around the factory for almost five years? You're super privileged, <laughs> for sure, super privileged. Yeah, well, isn't it kind of cool to be able to see some of the work that you've done and uh, that uh, people around all the world has been able to see that and appreciate it? Oh, yeah, I love your videos, dude. To see, like, from day one, to seeing all the channels, from nothing being there, building coming up, solar panels being laid, and just yeah. the development is super awesome to see. Yeah, isn't it amazing how far Giga Texas has come? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I used to tell everybody when I first started, I tried to make dirt look sexy. <laughs> but I just want to first say thank you very much to Victa Energy for having me out here and uh, allowing us to talk a little bit about this installation and also see this amazingly beautiful home. Also, thank you very much for Tesla for uh, allowing us to cover your product and show how it can be installed in a brand new house like this with a very innovative uh, approach to putting it onto the vertical walls in addition to just the regular roof. Now you could tell that uh, the solar panels or the solar roof, the installation and installing it, it really goes along with the motif of this particular house and uh, it, uh, it's sort of that modern look and uh, I think it really works well in this particular installation and uh, just uh, also hope that uh, maybe some of the details about uh, how the power walls were installed, the uh, gateways, how that system works along with the grid and um, the solar roof and the solar walls to make sure that, that, that this house or any house that has this kind of system is able to uh, have backup power and operate even if there's storms or uh, power outage. Uh, so it's, uh, it is an interesting option. It's um, kind of a, an upscale one for sure, especially with this particular installation. But I think it is something to consider if you are looking at uh, solar or trying to uh, kind of give you some backup energy, uh, if that's uh, very possible uh, around your area. Um, I think it would work pretty much anywhere. But here in Austin, we're seeing a lot more of installations like this 
around the city. And I think it's just a great sign for the product that uh, Tesla is putting out and also uh, companies such as Victa that is working with Tesla to do the installation. So anyway, that's uh, kind of a look around this uh, house and the installation of the uh, roof, then the walls. And I hope that you found that uh, informative and uh, uh, maybe kind of interesting, maybe something to check out for yourself. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.